So we just built a chat application just like Discord or how Slack works, but for Formion. If you don't know what Formion is, or if you don't know about me, I am the founder of CodeDam and Formion, both the platforms. So one platform helps you learn coding. The other platform helps you teach coding. So Formion is one of the platforms which we are working on right now. And one of the things which we released, which took a lot of attention to detail and work was creating a platform like Discord and Slack. So what this means, how does it all work? Let me show you around in this video and hopefully you will learn something new about Fermion, about the product and how do you build not just, how do you write not just the code, but actually build meaningful products that enhance the user experience. So let's see. If you don't know about Fermion, Fermion, think of it as a, as a backend or a full stack basically for your online education business. If you are selling anything like courses, webinars, certain digital products like downloadable items, your time, in form of calendar booking and slots anything and everything you do you can do it on Fermion on the top that it's specifically focused for technical creators that means you get coding labs you get coding assessments you get actual in browser IDE you get AI assistance AI features for your students all of the good stuff within one platform if you want to schedule a demo with me or my team you can just go on Fermion.app schedule a demo and we'll just get back to you but other than that I'll just show you one of the use cases of community which we have just recently released which is this feature where if you are enrolled in any specific school on Fermion, that is how we call it. If you're enrolled in any specific school, any course or anything, you will have access to that community as long as you're part of that school, right? So how does this look? Let's say I bought this course, getting started creating your own course on Fermion. Of course, I'm enrolled in this for free. Of course, you'll see like it's a huge priced course for you because we just give this course away for free within two instructors. Don't purchase this course. Obviously, if you go ahead and take a look, I think it is around five, six thousand rupees. So would not recommend recommend you to purchase this course. Obviously, if you're creating a course on Fermion, schedule a demo, we'll anyway give you access to this course free of cost. But let me just show you around how this looks. So this is the content side on the Fermion on the, you know, once you're enrolled in the course, but this is not where the fun stuff is. If I go back to my dashboard on the user side, so you will see that I have a new tab here known as community. And if I open this, this is basically exactly how you would expect a regular server or a regular channel to look like, right? So I can just enable notifications this is a very new channel new server right now so there are no questions and there are no doubts or anything but if there are many members in this specific channel for example this channel I haven't read yet but if you know there were many people over here I could start chatting start communicating with these people so how does this work well you can see I've already sent a few messages over here which when you hover on them you can react to a specific message so that's like that's already there you can react any any sort of emoji anything you want what you can also have is discussions within threads, right? So you can have like your first thread message or second thread message and all of this would consolidate within a single space. Now you can of course react on these messages also. If there are many people, you will see like proper profile photos, their mentions over here. When did they reply last time? On top of this, like notifications and everything automatically works. But most importantly, what you can see is that this area is within your own organization. So it's not a discord. It's not a slack it's not nothing outside of that it's basically your own internal private server right so apart from this of course you can have many things like polls so you can run a poll what is two plus two you can have four five six for example and if you send this message, all of this would just start working just like you would expect it. You can also mention people. So you can see like these are some of the people who are enrolled in this specific university or in this course for now. So you can see like how this works. You can send messages on the actual channel. So this is also something that would just automatically work, right? So you can see all of this programming, all of the way you can handle messages and you can interact with things. You can attach files and all. So if I just click a screenshot, for example, and if I just drag this over and I say, this is looking good, I can just send this file, right? And it'll just appear as an attachment. You can upload zip files, any, any sort of file sharing, which you want. So all of this requires a lot of little, little work, which I'll just talk a little bit about what took into creating something like this. But the major benefit here is on the administration side. So let me just quickly show you how that works. So I just changed my account to the administrator account. So this is a different account, right? So now I can see like, this is of course, this is not my reaction. That's why I'm not seeing this as highlighted now. But as an administrator, what I can do is I can manage people on certain channels. So this is like the, all of these are public channels. So let me just create a private channel first. So I'll just create a private secret 
channel, something like this. So if I create this channel over here, what's gonna happen is that I would be able to very precisely control who I want in this channel and who I don't want in this channel. So the advantage of using such a product inside your school, inside like, let's say if you are building a Fermion as a school, your school is on Fermion. The advantage is that you can add very specific users, right? So I can, you can see in this specific case, I just want to add people who bought my course into this channel. So that way I can have a community of people who just bought a specific course I can have a channel right similarly I can just buy just bring in people who bought a digital product so digital product is you know you can think of it as let's say if you are bundling your courses together two three courses then you can create a digital product out of it or you are if you are selling your time as a calendar slot or something like that or if somebody who bought a PDF or a zip file or something so you can have a support channel for them and the best thing about this is that this is automation free so you don't have to like you know with discord and slack i discover a lot of times what people do is sort of build some automations where they enroll a specific user through a private link and then that link expires and there's all sorts of hassles with that so uh, this is something you can do and of course you can also do an individual user level management you can search for people over here and then add them you can of course ban people as well if you want you can ban them with their messages so you can just click on a specific let's say if i want to ban this particular user i'll just go ahead and ban myself but of course i would not do that other than that as an administrator you can see i can delete specific messages from here so all of that is there but i think another thing which is important over here is that how do you introduce mobile support and as you know like we are very bullish on web as a technology in general that's why fermion isn't like at least for now is it not available as a mobile app it's available as a progressive web app so how this looks like on mobile it's simple to of course simple to check it out if you switch this to mobile like iphone 10 r for example it gets a little bit of custom layout it's basically the same thing but it's still like a little bit custom so the thread opens in a you know in a pop-up modal and if you want to change a channel that also opens in a modal like this other things basically are same so you can still react on specific messages you can open attachments in new tab you can have certain reactions all of that all of that good stuff is there what i'm not able to show you right now is some of the real-time communication abilities because this uh, this is like nobody else from my team right now is online using this but if you have like many people you will also have typing indicators you can send attachments you can mention people or you can send voice notes this moderation tool also is there which helps you like unlock a few admin side of things so that is there other than that you can have certain code elements also so you can embed like if let's say if you are writing some javascript and if you want to send it like that so you can do things like this which is you know very helpful when you are in a coding technical related discord server so all of these rich text things, all of the things which I mentioned, they are available right now on Formion. They take a lot of little, little things, little, little details to build. So I'll just share some of our tech stack, share some of our things which we used to build this specific. So of course, there are three parts to any application you're seeing on the web. The first is front end, the second is back end, and third is database. Database, of, co of course, like without going into many details, we are using Postgres only. So that's, I think that I've shared it many times. So that's there. On the back end, we have TypeScript, for example. Right now, we use a mix of polling, polling plus WebSockets for real time, you know, for establishing that real time communications. And all of this is also available on AWS Lambdas. This is something we probably might change in the coming time because Lambdas are great for just, you know, deploying something and think not thinking about the infrastructure. But once you hit a scale, like a chat app, for example, where there are many API calls that are happening, your cost of Lambda would suddenly like rise because on Lambda, you have to pay on every invocation, right? So right now we are on AWS Lambdas. Maybe we change it to EC2s or something eventually. On front end, we are of course using Next.js over here. We are using a lot of custom code. This community thing, I think is close to like seven, 8,000 of lines in code not not a huge project by the way but still like a sizable thing of course we use typescript a lot of this is custom code so the editor for example the way the reactions happen the emotions the emojis you can select all of that is there within the platform itself so it's not like any third party thing which is getting pulled other than that for performance of course you have to build a virtual list Otherwise, you cannot like have 10,000 messages in a thread all just loaded together. On top of that, you need some level of state management as well. So state management is also there. So for state management, we use basically mix of React, 
internal state management the use state stuff and just stack but of course like feel free to use any library any anything would work over here to be honest and then of course web sockets goes without saying so nothing magical about it to be honest it's just the attention to detail and the polishing you do in a product that makes it feel like a premium product so that is there i think other than that it's pretty simple straightforward product if you look at slack and discord also these products mainly the front ends are simple and straightforward the actual engineering and the stability of the platform i think is more important where how do you handle things at scale but thanks to our architecture because if you know basically code dam also works on a similar architecture so if you have ever seen coding labs or you know ever seen ide within the coding lab the stability there in terms of the back end and how we boot ide and how everything happens end to end so we have learned many things from the code dam experience itself that translates into any new product or any new feature that we are building right so anything new comes from those learnings of stability and how do you write better software and that's why i really feel like you know a lot of times people fight over which technology is good and which technology is bad i think it comes down to you as a person if you are good in that technology or not because the tech itself is always like it can always be used for good but many technologies are like you know they can allow you to do so many things you have to restrict like what things are good for your team what things are not and so on so that's basically it so one more thing you can do on for me on now alongside you know it being a very special platform a very specific platform for technical content creators to embed such labs embed such things what you can also do is run your full blown communities over there right so you can just ask us once you have a school a specific school on formion you can just ask us and we'll just enable the specific access for your community and yeah feel free to interact with people over here so that's all for this video hopefully you liked it learned something new learned about this product if you want to experience this and you are a creator feel free to apply for a demo happy to help you out i'll see you probably in some other video really soon